Yes, indeed. Um, the whole hallway, according to what I'm, I was hearing, um, the entrance hall was full of police and tax authorities. So it was an impressive uh, raid yesterday at Deutsche Bank's headquarter right behind me. And obviously also uh, at different locations. But for today, what people are expecting is not too much official police, but a lot of undercover uh, police agents who are going through the files inside Deutsche Bank. What I'm hearing is that yesterday management offices already also were, were searched already, but like official interviews have not yet taken place with the management. But this is expected for at least today or perhaps for a later uh, uh, time, because Obviously, the current management was active already at the time when the suspicious transaction had been taken place, because this was between 2013 and 2018. Christian Seewing, the CEO of Deutsche Bank himself, was the head of the private wealth unit under which those uh, transactions were, uh, were, 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 were done. So this is going very much deep into Deutsche Bank that scandal which um, yeah currently is unfolding yesterday the uh, head of communication Jörg Eigendorf stepped out here uh, right next to me in a way and uh, told us that Deutsche Bank is fully cooperating but take a listen yourself we thought that we had provided to the authorities all the relevant information regarding Panama Papers and of course, we will now cooperate closely with the prosecutors here in Frankfurt am Main in, in Germany, as it is in, also in our interest to clarify the facts as soon as possible. I have to say, we in the last couple of years, we have proven on several occasions that we have been willing to cooperate closely with the authorities when needed. And authorities even have confirmed that. And we will now continue in this spirit and as soon as we have new facts, we will let you know. So the prosecutor is saying that there are two employees of Deutsche Bank who um, probably have been active in money laundering, funneling funds into the British Virgin Island and uh, in order to disguise like criminal yeah criminal funds so i.e it was money laundering how that whole thing will unfold we don't know but it is actually a huge problem for deutsche bank it is a huge reputational problem once again um deutsche bank is entangled in a, a illegal uh illegal activity and of course, it's also bad for morale inside Deutsche Bank. So what I'm hearing of clearly the atmosphere inside Deutsche is clearly subdued because people had expected that the worst is over, that this kind of raid was something which only happened in the past. But the reality is that Deutsche Bank is in the middle of most likely a new scandal. And we don't know yet what it will mean for the current management. Back to you. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.